Hello everybody, um, this is the first tutorial on C++ Made Easy. I'm gonna be showing you how to program or code, whatever you want to call it, in C++. Now let's get right into it. Now, the IDE I use is called the Microsoft Visual C++ 2000 Express Edition, right? And what a IDE is an integrated development environment, which basically is what we're gonna use to type our code and it will compile it. And basically what compiling means is it takes the code you write and turns it into machine code. Something that the computer recognizes, the type of code that computer recognizes, and then it'll be able to run your code and you'll be able to see what your code does. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. Now, there's different compilers out there, IDs out there like Codeblocks, Dev C++, and stuff. But I'm going to be doing my tutorials on Microsoft Visual C++. Now I'll put the link on how to download it in the description. So the description below, you can see it and you can download it. Now. I'm just going to do a quick intro into it and then continue the rest of the video in the next tutorial. So what we're going to do is let me zoom in here. We're going to go to a new project or if you're not in Visual C++ you can go to file, new, and then project. And then what we want to go is go to Win32. Win32 console application and we want to name the file so let's name it tutorial 1 and locations where you want to save it right and then the yeah and then just click OK now with uh, Visual C++ they ask you this stuff all you have to do is next and yeah we'll just do the pre-compiled header and just click finish so the pre-compiled header I'm not really sure what it does but just go with the flow this time and then just you can just deal with it or you can not use the pre-compiled header next time so this is the pre-compiled header Whenever you're doing anything, you always have to put this header, put this before anything else, or else your program won't run. So now we're in tutorial1.cpp. So you want to delete everything except include stdafx. Now we're going to be writing a program that says hello world. So first, we need a include something it can include a library and what this means is that you're including something into your program that you cannot use like some commands are automatically inputted in C++ you have to include them first and then they'll become available to you this makes it so that it doesn't use too much memory space or whatever with all the code names and input names and whatnot so what we're gonna do is follow me. I'm gonna put sharp symbol include, and we're gonna put that the left stream operator, and put I O stream, and put a right stream operator after it. This stands for input output stream, and that's what we're gonna be using to output and input stuff um, to the screen. So the next line we want to do is input using namespace std and this is not needed but it makes coding much easier well for me at least because without this command without this command right here for every command you do you would have to do std your command and then std blah 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 but since we put using namespace std, we can just type in our command without putting std colon colon in front of it. 
which makes life easier. Now this is where the programming comes in. We're gonna put I oh sorry. We're gonna put I N T main and then two um opening closing bracket and put a opening and closing brace and right here you would put return zero now I don't want to get too in depth in this the main it's just where everything goes on it's where everything happens so anything that's not in main will not run so what the what basically happens is that when your thing when your program runs is looking for main it just looks for main then it's like okay this is the main function okay now I have to do the code as the main function you can have other functions going on but everything runs it through the main function and you might not understand this but you'll understand it in my later tutorials and because because it's an integer variable an integer function we'll need to return the value which you will learn about later so now we just want to input a message to the screen so we just put C out or count whichever one you want to call it two left stream operators followed by quotation marks and put your text there so hello world and then put another two left stream operators and put end L and end with a semicolon this is very important you have to end with a semicolon to terminate the line almost every single line in C++ you will need to terminate it with a semicolon if you don't do that you will get an error and basically what end L means is that it will end the line so it just terminates the line so if you were to write another message it would write it on a new line right so now let's compile this program now when you're using uh, Microsoft Visual C++ you want to do control F5 it's important you do that so your, so your program doesn't flash open and just close so now it's compiling which means it's changing into machine code okay and so we get hello world and because we did control F5 which means start without debugging it doesn't just open and close it sh it opens and then it just asks for a key to press and then you just press it and the window closes right now if you start with debugging it would just flash open and close so to stop from flash opening and closing you can put a command called sin dot get like that or sin dot ignore and there's system pause these are commands you can use to stop from flashing opening close but I just prefer studying without debugging so this is just the basic tutorial I'll get more in depth about it in the next one I just didn't want to make this too complicated and whatnot so I hope you like it and look forward to tutorial number two thanks and bye